Hello, everybody, to the stream. So we're going to play a little bit of EU4 um, as Poland. Let's continue on. So again, if you're watching this on YouTube, I do recommend you come over to the stream, watch it all live as it airs. But for now, uh, we do have a, a looming disaster, which is the religious unity, religious turmoil. But I mean, this should be done soon. Like, I, there's no way we're not going to get these conversions done in time. Do an idea we can invest in, because we have 649, 256, 486. So we're probably saving for military tech and Amatech uh, 12, respectively. We do get new infantry, which is quite nice, so I think we're just going to save up for those. But I have been looking, before before we started streaming, at, at this little country right here, this little country of Riga. They're allied to Bremen and Lubeck. But they have a, you know, center, a little two center of trade, and they got an estuary. Very, very nice for us to own that. If you look at our um, coalition modifier, it's not, it's not too, too bad, all things considered. We're not at war, right? Let me just double check. No, we're not at war. We did take over a lot of parts of Hungary last time. In fact, I might actually want to build ourselves a a new fort, uh, which is in buildings. Let's just build like a new fortification next month. Yeah, there we go. Now we have enough money. We can't build it because it's not cores, right? No, unfortunately not. Hmm. I mean, putting one right into, like, Vizier. I mean, I guess there's forts. Are you a fort? Yeah, there's forts all around here. So, I mean, they could a annex this... A well, not annex it. They could, they could occupy this area. They can't really get too far into uh, main Poland. As far as I can tell. And you're not... DHRE Empire, right? Like, you're not the Holy Roman Emperor? No, right now it's Bohemia. Everybody wants to vote for Bohemia, which is going to permanently put Austria in a weakened state, which is just fantastic news. It allows to take over a large part of uh, Hungary and probably maybe some, actually, Austrian territory in the future as well. This 17 stack, though, we'll start moving you over to here. Because I think, like, Muscovy... I, I was thinking about Muscovy. Actually, I was thinking about this campaign. Um, the Ottomans are War Genoa. Sure, why not? I, I was thinking about this campaign uh, before we started today, and I was, look, I was thinking about Muscovy, right? They're not really too much of a threat anymore, and I'm wondering how much territory I could feed Ryzen. Because, I mean, having Ryzen be a, a like, a march, give them all of this land. and well, I mean, we'll annex around here. Anything that's in, like, the Baltic, I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of annex these areas to the north. But everything else we might want to give to Ryzen. I, I don't know how disloyal they will be. Right now they're at zero percent. Opinion of Commonwealth, trustworthy Commonwealth. Why do you have seventeen percent? Is a march minus fifteen. Relative power of marches and vassals is plus thirty percent for one one hundred thirty-one development. I mean, Moldova—they're doing pretty well for themselves. They also don't like us that much. So you know what? Let's improve relations with Moldova for now. And honestly, I think I'm okay making it to a march and just like not annexing this territory. Because is there any um any missions that require us to take this land? Conquer Cilicia, Bohemian Union. Pure Conquest is just have a lot of development. Unite the home region. Which is you. Assemble an army. As long as we don't need to invade Store Ruthenia, we've already have we've already done that. Crowd, unrest lord than one, devastation lord than one. Must have a workshop or a counting house. In Krakow? I mean, it's a market town right now. Cannot upgrade or downgrade during a time of war. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, so yeah, all my factory, all my, not my factories, all my, uh, fortifications turned on. Which we don't really need, because I'm not too worried about what Genoa's going to do. They're going to try to take over this area here. That's completely fine. I'm not worried about that. But Riga. Noble family request aid. A lot of ducats. Or deny them aid. Well, I don't have enough money and I don't want to go into debt for that. So we're just going to not worry about it. We're going to declare war on you. We know no cost is belly. You know what? Fair enough. Just build a spy network there instead. Get our uh, claim on Riga. Annex the territory. I mean, we still have a uh, door pet over here from that belongs to Denmark. I would like to take that at some point. I mean, it will eventually go to our control. There's, there's no way uh, about that. 
I mean, Sweden is no longer under the Danish crown. You might annex Norway at some point. Negative 5% right now, because they're pretty large in culture group. Diplorip. An army career. 15 army tradition. Yeah, definitely give me the army tradition. That, that seems actually really nice. Make, make more territories in the states. The 533. What is our current? We can go up to 600. Biscov and Pripyat. Four to four. Pisco I mean, we probably want to do these in the uh, the order of the most development, right? Like, that makes sense to me. States, development. Oh, no, we can, like, reduce their base. Oh, I didn't know you could even do that. Don't worry about that. Sort by development. Include territories. The local autonomy. Make core. States. Sort by development. Make you to the states. You're not a core yet. We'll make you into a core. Make make you into a state as well. That seems okay. And we can start coring all this area. I mean, it's actually, it's not that expensive, so why not do it? We're still like four years ahead of time on uh, most of our tech, so I'm not too worried about it. Do we only have three armies? I mean, I see this guy marching his way through. I really wish he wouldn't do that, but... I mean, what can he do? Foreign heir, spend our prestige, make sure he's still part of our dynasty. Honestly, I like making you into a march makes sense to me. Rice Ant's now being occupied by a lot of people. We could send units over there, but I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, just make you a march and kind of annex all of Central Asia. Okay, religious unity is still not high enough. When when will this fire? It's gonna fire in 47. Plus one per month. You'll be done in 46. So slightly faster. And we almost got our morale armies plus 15, which is nice. I guess we're still trying to build like cannons here, right? When are, when are you be done? When will you be done? Be done in 42, so next year. A little bit expensive, but that's okay. Rebel Uprising with Skov, which is somewhere. I'm always. I don't actually remember where Skov is. Oh, it's right up here. Okay, we're actually already near it. So you won't worry about that too much. We can always just move troops there if we have to. We, do, we actually have a loan already. Pay back November 1st. I mean, we're making. We're only making one docket right now, actually. Probably because of all our fort maintenance. Which I will admit is very expensive. I mean, let's just turn off some of these forts. Like, these ones over here do not need to be on. Because they're not worth anybody in this area. Turn off this one. I mean, even well, some of these forts are kind of... We, we don't even need them. Let's be honest. But now we'll make... Yeah, we're making 6.52 ducats now. Denmark has riled us. Really? How do you have the power to rival us? That, that To me, that's surprising. Because you got nowhere else here. Brandenburg's doing all right. When's our alliance with you... Not our alliance. When's our truce with you expire? 54. Oh, dear. Very, very, very expensive... Uh, Perfect claim. So that's at least 20. We're at 17.3. How much are we getting per month? 1.3. Okay, so we'll be ready in about two months and so we can go to war. You've occupied this area. Genoa actually only exists over here. Oh, well, that's not what I expected, but okay. Who else are we at war with? We're also at war with the Murti. Eh, I don't care if Ryzan's forts are being occupied. Let's just go to this province for now. We don't have any sailors right now, but that's also okay. Like, I'm not too worried about our, our sailor situation. Let's just put it that way. Okay, Cypress has entered a military alliance with you. 
We got more painting of from Bohemia. Oh, you're the same dynasty as us now. Oh, that's nice. The Holy Roman Emperor and myself are part of the same dynasty. Carl Zed. Same dynasty as the Commonwealth. You'd love to see it. We'll try to keep our own dynasty on in the in charge here for as long as we possibly can. Okay, fabricated claim on Riga. P pull back you. We lost 10 prestige, unfortunately. But I mean we have we have 60 right now, so it's not horrible. You're out to Bremen and Lubick. I'm gonna tell you right now that I do not care even remotely. I mean, we did turn back all our factories on, but that's okay. Okay, Moldova, we can definitely get a uh, line here. Occupy your country. Wait, did you... Did you lose the war? What ha Wait, what happened? I mean, Georgia now exists. It's no longer Mirti. They did not take any of the land they wanted? I'm so confused. Like, they don't need... Do they want that pro... I don't know what they took. Join war, new monarch. New monarch. Join war, join war. I have no idea. No, no clue what the peace deal was. I mean, I should have paid a little bit more attention, to be fair. Move you up towards the north. We have a free advisor here. Let's go with... Just a plus one for now. Seems more than okay. And I'm hoping that we free, I'll be able to upgrade all of these techs next year. Okay, Hungarian separatists have risen up. We can uh, luckily go and just kind of kill them. At least I hope so. You are 733. We are 816. Which I think gives us an edge there. Ever so slightly. Okay, you're going to go try to take back that uh, fortification. We did lose a military leader. Was it a military leader? It was a military leader in charge of this army, huh? It just happened to be the one that was in charge of the army leading the, uh, the fight against the rebels. Really? This seems awfully convenient. Favoritism in Warsaw. Carl the First Ferdinand's blatant favoritism of Czech culture, which is me. Not gone unnoticed by the Polish people of, the, of, of our kingdom. Huh. Diplo power. Yeah, I mean, we'll lose some Diplo power. That's completely okay. So next month, we should be able to get Diplo tech here. Our king died. Alexander the first Karl of Polterbad. Okay, so we're still the same dynasty here. I mean, you're 533, three, which is pretty powerful. Pretty nice. I mean, we could probably... Yeah, unfocus this. 10, 9, 8 across the board is nice. Thank you for the tech cost reduction. We do need a military leader here. Oh, a 3, 5 I'll definitely take. So let's get Diplotech 11. Move our army back down south to deal with the rebels. And I guess you just come down to Premishil? I, I don't know where else I'd really want you to be. We can call Bohemians to the war, but I really don't think that's going to mean too much for us. The Ottomans are now worth the Mamluks. Regular ally. You know what? Sure, why not? We're at war with the Venetians as well. Venice already has a two stack in our territory, which is a little bit rude. So who are we at war with? We're at war with all of you. Why are, what are you trying to take? Halab. 
which is this province here. But you'll probably, probably end up taking a lot more, I'd have to take a guess and say. Okay, you go deal with the nine stack. Eight one six. Here is two zero. We're at three five. Is there a river crossing here? Yes. But it's already too late. We've locked in. But yeah, that battle goes a lot better for us. Lovely. Okay, let's go up to here. This should, yeah, go back to our control after a while. I mean, right now we'll keep all of our bases on for now, even though I don't really like it so much. And go for admin tech. Ten years ahead of time. Oh no, it became a little bit too expensive because of our institution penalty. Only 0.9% of the country is actually part of this right now. You're at 40%, 40, 57. We got some 90s down here, which is not horrible. Brace cost minus 26% is not horrible. 45% spread is pretty good. But you know, how big is this penalty right now? 766. State house. You know what? I think we can actually hold off for now. I don't I don't think we need it at this exact moment in time. Okay, Riga, I'd really say you should just give me the land. Yes, the Ottomans are over here. Be able to deal with this situation on their own just fine. And the turmoil is still. Uni increased by 0.5, which actually is still not going to be enough. 16 months, really? Why is this so fast? I don't really know. Let's go with who's going to give us the most unity right away. 2% yeah, off you. I mean, Venice is having a bad time. Our vassals are probably sending troops over here, which I think counts as our participation as well. Perhaps, I don't actually know. You're on 11, 10, 11. We're technically still more advanced than some of the, uh... Like, we're still just advanced like Spain is, and they're the ones who got colonialism as early as possible, so... Really not that far behind. We could go for artillery combat ability. You know what? We're gonna... Ah, no, but you're a new infantry level, right? And more tactics. No, I, I think military tech 12 is more useful than, um... He's renewed our loan, unfortunately. Kind of because enemy fleets are too strong. Who else are we at war with? We're at war with... With Lubeck. You're at 42. Bremen. No, not you. We're at war with... Yeah, Bremen's over here. None of you want to, uh... Sign a peace deal, unfortunately. Go deal with these rebels down the south. I mean, we do got a lot of rebel issues. I will, uh... I will admit. Let's pull you up towards the north, because I think we're going to have more problems there. Innovation is decreasing. We're paying 735 for you. What else do we want to do? Because we have one free diplomat. Let's improve relations with Brandenburg for now. Seems okay. I do think it's worth getting military attack 12 right away. Oh, you also give us new artillery fire and artillery shock. How, how much? Yeah, you're just way better. Let's go for offensive eastern. Yeah, a good offense is a good defense. Let's upgrade you, and we have a new unit model, which basically means that we are much better than everybody else that's ever existed. Because we have guns and they do not. So I'll definitely take it. Admin Tech 12 is a little bit less important. I mean, it gets us closer to... It gets us closer to uh, a new idea group. That's really about it. And I'm not, like, super concerned about that, right? While it would be nice... 
It's not the most important thing in the world. So you're about to annex all of Venice. Next section 5048. I mean, the Ottomans are terrifying, right? Which is why I think we want to keep them on our side for as long as humanly possible. Because they scare me. They scare me a lot. So, occupy you. You get sort of casualties, that's not a big surprise. We're getting 20 pounds right now. 20 ducats a month on fortifications. Which I'll admit is a lot. Moss about all the forts right now. Except for these ones here. Losing 1.7. Ports blockade, harbor fees. Harbor fee? Who am I paying harbor, harbor fees to? Diplomatic expenses. Ports are blockaded. England! How long have I been playing, paying you harbor fees? I think this saved my fleet one time, and I guess I just never cancelled it. Okay, well, let's recall you back. I need to cancel these fees? I've been- how- I've been paying you... Two pounds for years, I think, at this point. Well, two two pa like two pounds a month for years. There you go. We're at least now making money. I mean, you like us. The French, I mean, the French are neutral towards us. They like us, though. Prove relations. England is friendly. Prove relations. Dynasty lost election. Yeah, we have mothball forts, but again, the mothball forts are not a big deal, except for maybe the, uh... We have a 17 stack. Send you down south. Ah, no, we already got, a, we already got an army down there. We'll send you a little bit more uh, central, though. Seems fine. We could boost ability. Actually, we will definitely boost ability. Because we still have enough points for admin tech, uh, 12. I, I just want to embrace colonialism. I don't care how much money it costs me. Okay, so you've signed a peace deal with them. You took a few provinces from Venice. I'm just trying to think. Because... I'm still a world Lubeck. Riga. Just, just let me annex your country. There will be a coalition of Muscovy, Denmark, Riga, Austria. I mean, most of the countries that I already expected to, uh, to, to be a little bit upset with what we're doing, but that's okay. We still got about eight years, I think, until we can attack the Austrians again. Even though it would be really nice to kill Austria. Like, I just want just, just, just a crumb of institution spread. Royal marriage has ended. Bohemia has been elected emperor once again. Hey, you want to have a royal marriage? Wait, again, being friends with the emperor, it's got some perks, right? Okay, so it looks like Ryzan's sending troops down the wards here. Honestly, I think I will just make you into a march. We're at war, so we, we can't do that. Like, I'd rather annex Moldova than, than annex Ryzan, I think, at this point. And again, we could always go to war on Moscow and just feed them more and more territory. Or go to war with the Great Horde. You're at war with you. Ryzen doesn't have any claims down here, but I mean, we could just, like, give them territory. Like, what are they going to do about it? Probably not too, too much. Okay, so you've pieced out Tunisia. We might be making a little bit of money off this as well, which is not bad. I mean, it's like, I could probably just march into Lubeck and... Oh, no, Moldova's actually t taking territory here as well. That's nice. 15,000. Who has these troops? Bremen and Lubeck kind of split between the two. Nobody in my territory is being occupied, right? Like, sometimes the AI loves sneaking past me. And they're really, they do a really good job at it. To be fair. Like, I just want... I just want you out of the war. 
And that's it. It's a simple request. A simple request for you to get the hell out of here. Apparently we have been dropping some frames. Which is unfortunate. Get an alliance with, with uh, Georgia. Expand our way into the Caucasus. No, I think they don't like us. Negative 2000, Commonwealth at War. Opinion of the Commonwealth. Neutral towards Commonwealth. I mean, if I think we want to expand towards the Caucasus, we just attack the Golden Horde. We have no cause to belly against them right now. Timrit, Uzbek. I mean, how big is that alliance? 47,000 men. I mean, it's actually more than I would have uh, expected. Your military tech 10. Military tech 11. We can't see the Timrit or Uzbek. Oh, no, Uzbek's over here. They have 24,000 men. It looks like they're a rather large country. Which is unfortunate. Missions, defeat the knights. I mean, what do we gotta actually do here? Krakow, they want us to build a workshop. Polish Renaissance, build a treasury of 2,000 pounds. Haven't done you yet. And more than 80, can I even have more than 80,000 men? Oh, I can. I can actually build like probably like an entire new army if I wanted to. And I do. State edicts. Is there something we can do here? Institution spread? Oh yeah, they cost us money, right? Maintenance by... It triples maintenance. But more institutions spread in the capital seems fine. We, we'll get that going. Because, I mean, colonialism... It stalled at 14%. We have 100% spread. Lose a ton of... Again, I don't have the duck and suspend on that right now. When are you building a navy? Maybe, like, once we're not being blockaded would be a good start. Okay, Bremen. Give me all your money. And... War reps. And... Break... And your rivalries with people. I don't really care what you do. As long as I don't spend any points to get prestige out of it. Send those demands through. Okay, so Bremen's out of the war. Lubeck... Do you want to leave the war? I mean, I could always just annex Riga, right? You would say yes to this now. Give me your money. And honestly, I don't really care what you guys do. Welcome, Riga, to the fold. I will now immediately core you. 100 uh, admin points. A little bit expensive, but that's okay. I mean, it's a nice center of trade, which will give us a lot of power in the Baltics. I'm still wondering... Go with the shortest. 21 days. We're now over, uh... We're no longer facing our religious turmoil modifiers anymore. We're now getting cheaper. I mean, 691, 691, I think is completely okay. We'll upgrade you. You are practically plus 5 for... Plus 2%. Okay, so, uh... Admin Tech 12 sucks. Or Admin Tech 13, I should say, sucks. It, it's garbage. That's okay. At least for right now. I mean, Muscovy... When, when's our truces do you expire? Okay, mothball all forts. Cut army maintenance in, I don't know, half for now. I mean, our army doesn't be doing anything. The Mamluks are definitely lost. Um, we were rivaling them, so we'll probably get a little bit of power projection out of this. But we're already at 100. We got a foreign air. Absolutely unacceptable. Even though you are tech cost my 5%, which I think is pretty good. Oh, no, you're also tech cost my 5%. Okay. Call our diplomat from Brandenburg. You're a plus 111. You want to annex my entire subject, which is a thing that we might need to worry about in the future. 131,000. We're at 72,000. Let's first things first pay off our loan. We're paying one duck in a, a year or one duck in a month in uh, in interest on that. And we're making 25 ducats a month right now. So I think we can probably finish one, build up our new army, two... Um, build our new army, and then, did we get any money out of this? Prestige, we got 1.9, I got power projection as well, and we got some favors. 
But maybe we just save money for a while, upgrade our army to be over 80,000 to complete that mission, and then save our way up to 2,000 ducats so we complete that mission as well. And honestly, uh, Ryzen, I, I think I will make you into a march. I think that's more than acceptable. But I'd rather, again, I'd rather annex Moldovia. Like, that's going to be more, I think, beneficial. No art worth patronizing. Like, how much... Because right now, you have development of something. Does it not say in this here? Well, we know you have 15,000 men. You have 6,000. Kazan is looking pretty sad, if I do say so myself. And, I, and again, like, I'd rather annex this territory. I'd rather go into more Baltic territory and then into, like, the Nordic countries. To me, that seems like it'd be better for us. Do we have any more rebels? Yeah, we got some rebel issues up here. But I mean, like, you guys should be more than capable of dealing with any of, uh, any aggression there. You're at war with Lubeck. Okay. That's completely acceptable. I'm not too worried about that. So we got a 12 stack. My men are at half organizations. So we'll spend a little bit more on them. But I mean, I still think, like, a We'll upgrade you to the 3-5. Against a 0-3, we have way more artillery, more infantry. Even, even at that half organization. Yeah, even at that half organization, we still win the fight. Let's run for the ducats. Broken promises. Honestly, we'll, we'll give you 250 uh, ducats. I mean, it's very, it's a lot of money, sure, but we get that back in about what? Why not? I'm only make 14. I need to. Puskov, rise up, probably in Polek. Which is going to be here. Keep our army raised up a little bit. I mean, these are not big rebellions. Looks like we should be fine. You're going to rise up in about. Three months? Roughly? Like, why are you rising so much? Like, like, what's the problem here for unrest? Overextension, not into the culture. How do I have overextension? Oh, Riga. It's, Riga by itself is over 23%. Okay, that is quite a bit. Also, is there anybody that can actually add into our set of cultures? Belarusian, 8%. 90, you know what? It's worth the Diplo points. Because we can have six promoted cultures, actually. Let's get Belarusian, Novgorod. If we look at our culture map mode, which is... All right, think we're dropping more frames. Technology, institution, loot, devastation. Weather, climate, terrain, culture. So Belarus is now accepted. We've also now accepted Novgorodian. So, I mean, that's anything that's probably Novgorodian that we want to probably put into our own country. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I will be this right back. We're going to end the stream quickly. I'm going to reset my uh, my internet because that usually fixes the frame dropping issue. I'll be right back. I apologize for that. But again, we'll be right back. 